Hi, welcome to the Netherlands again. Um, in earlier videos I explained the Watley Loop receiver Rakal 17L and um, I received uh, several questions about it. This is a Rakal 17D from Delta. It's a strange radio, it's, a, it's the only example in existence because it has no tubes. So I know that some of you like to kill me because I've demolished an original Rakal 17 but it was necessary, it was a hopeless case and uh, one way or the other I get the idea that I want to rebuild this Rakal but make use of semiconductors instead of tubes. Don't ask me why, it's just because it was possible. And uh, so there is nothing digital about this radio. Uh, the only thing that's digital is the, uh, the display unit that I built from some old uh, TTL integrated circuits and some displays that I had here in one of the boxes. It has only uh, transistors and FETs instead of the tubes. Uh, so some adjustments have to be made uh, because I used the original low pass filters and the original uh, band pass filters and also the original uh, IF unit on 100 kilo cycles. The machine is the same as an original Rakal 17, so the pre-selector is uh, intact, it's completely the same as in a tube, but the tube is removed and there's a fat in that uh, unit. The input uh, attenuator was originally a, a switch with resistors and so on. And I had one old potentiometer, 50 ohms, so, uh, no, 75 ohms, sorry. And so I uh, used that one. The tuning is also the same. So you have here the megahertz tuning, exactly the same as in the original Arakal. Um, but um, I built in here. A, a dial, a, a meter, uh, so you can adjust the uh, the Watley loop on its maximum, so it will be stable for at least uh, a very long period of time. The standard S meter, and uh, on this side, that's different from an uh, original Rakal. Uh, there's an extra pre-selector unit for the uh, heterodyne receiver, the last receiver and of course that last receiver look at the other video for the explanation you can adjust here the uh, the kilo cycles and that is originally a VFO in the original Rakal uh, but reasonably stable because it's a low frequency but I used a very special design and it's a free running oscillator but it's continually calibrated uh, with the aid of uh, a delay line and that I uh, put out of a, an old color television set. Here in Europe we used PAL and for that PAL you need uh, a delay line. And that delay line I used in the circuitry f to keep this physio uh, very very stable within a few hertz.
to go quickly with the kilo cycles you can also use this knob when you push this there's an extra potentiometer to go very quickly from the upper to the lower frequencies and when you're almost there leave it loop and find it just with the kilo cycles like that I've used the original IF the 100 kilohertz only a few adjustments have to be made because of the use of uh, of uh, semiconductors of course and with that kilo cycle tuning and that's right in front of the last IF the 100 kilohertz IF there is a second pre selection a tunable pre selection and this together is the last stage of the receiver and makes it very very sensitive indeed and the AVC you can switch in slow medium and uh, fast also different from the original Rakal uh, is the possibility to receive AM CW lower sideband upper sideband and FM and the FM is an extra so you can use the receiver also behind a, 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 a converter for 2 meters or 70 centimeters or whatever. The uh, CW has an extra facility, when I push this button I can adjust the BFO uh, with a calibrated 100 kilohertz um, signal to adjust the BFO exactly on zero beats. When I do that and I switch to lower sideband the BFO is a little bit adjusted so that the package of that uh, single sideband transmitter is fitting exactly in the 100 kilohertz IF bandwidth. Same is for the upper sideband. It shifts a little bit the other way, so the uh, the transmitted signal is exactly within the bandwidth that you have selected here if you make this very narrow uh, you have to be exactly on tuning otherwise you will get distortion the original single sideband was demodulation was not there of course so um, I designed an alternative one with the product detector for that purpose and uh, that yeah that makes listening very nice but that's not very original. 